Kidney transplantation is a marvel of modern science. However, the need for lifelong immunosuppression greatly limits the lifespan of the transplanted kidney and predisposes the recipient to a multitude of infectious and cancerous complications. The ability to liberate patients from immunosuppression has long been the holy grail of kidney transplantation, and excitingly, recent advancements have allowed us to attain this for some patients. At UCLA, we've established tolerance protocols, which allow some patients to be freed from their immunosuppression. In this case, we describe a 57-year-old male with O blood type who has end-stage kidney disease from long-standing type 2 diabetes. He has a 59-year-old older brother who is an ABO and 2 haplotype match. Before kidney donation, the older brother undergoes hematopoietic stem cell mobilization using granulocyte colony stimulating factor and then donates his stem cells. Specifically, the CD34 and CD3 cells are isolated and cryopreserved. Kidney donation and transplantation then takes place in usual fashion, after which the recipient of the kidney transplant undergoes a conditioning regimen of total lymphoid irradiation and rabid antithymocyte globulin. This is followed by stem cell infusion. Over the course of one year, the recipient is eventually weaned off of immunosuppression. Criteria for discontinuing the medication include stable mixed chimerism, no evidence of rejection on serial protocol biopsies, and no evidence of graft-versus-host disease. At 14 months after transplantation, the recipient remains immunosuppression-free and has excellent kidney function. In summary, successful tolerance protocols are available at few centers of excellence, including UCLA, and they offer the potential for freedom from the long-term side effects of immunosuppression for well-selected patients.